So I've had a lot of you guys ask about Edpuzzle and it integrates beautifully into Canvas and I want to show you what that looks like and when I say integrates beautifully it actually you use it as an external tool and it grades everything um, as you go. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take a look at some that have already done it over the summer and we'll look at their grades and let's see give me a second. Alright so let's hop on over here to an Ed puzzle. There's one. Okay, and uh, once you do it correctly, it just throws their grade right in here. And let me show you how to set up a class real quick. So in doing this and setting up a class, I also want to show you a little glitch, and I don't want you guys to panic. Every time I set up a class so far, it has given me a um, an error message. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through it just like I normally would. So um, we're going to add it to a module and I want to say I add everything as an assignment then I turn it in as an external tool because I want it to match my grade book that we have um, for our grade book and that's a whole other deal so I'm going to title this Ed Puzzle Demo alright so this this class has not been associated yet with Ed Puzzle so we're going to do that right now. And I also want to say that if you copy, I learned the hard way, that if you copy an Edpuzzle over to a different class, it takes the same uh, students with it. So careful with that. All right, so we have this assignment. I pulled up the assignment. I'm going to edit it. Um, I'm going to put my directions. Uh, directions, make it real pretty, add pictures, uh, whatever you want to do right here. So then I definitely am going to assign it a point value. <clears throat> and with Edpuzzle, um, I always put display grades as a percentage, just in case like there's only like they get like a nine and there's 10 or something and they think they made a nine. So here's the key. Submission type is external tool. Now, Hopefully your admin has allowed this. So you, if you don't have it, go to your app section and we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. So we did external tool. Okay. And here is my Edpuzzle right here. Oh, granted, I've already created an Edpuzzle account. So hopefully you've done that. Um, the trick is it must be with your school account that's associated with this. We have a G dot and so we're using that one. So I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to click on watch <clears throat> and I'm going to come on down here and click assign. Well, it didn't show that I was setting up a brand new class. So I'm concerned about that. Let's do select and let me see what this looks like just in case because that was almost that was almost a little too easy. Let me get that out of there. <clears throat> Save. Okay, so yes, here's what it's going to look like. Um, and it, I mean, that's fantastic. That was easier than I thought. Sometimes the first time you do it, it says, um, sometimes the first time you do it, it doesn't recognize it, and then you have to go back and do it again. So I really need to go in and check this. We'll go back to Edpuzzle and see what that looks like. Yeah, so look at this. It says it's a little lonely right here, but don't worry. Once your students click on the assignment. So let's go back real quick and look at um, a class that's already been done so we can see what it looks like once it's in. So here is Edpuzzle, puzzle, greetings, and basics. So let's see. Um, right here, we're going to look down and if you look it shows who has not done this um, and it shows who has and then you can actually um, come over here and reset their progress if you want and it says export grades to LMS but I've actually never even had to do that I can reset their progress delete it um, download the grades as a CSV now let's go look on the Edpuzzle in and see what that looks like Okay, so once I've got my edpuzzle.com, I've set up an account. Hopefully you already have that and make sure it's with your school account. Um, up here you have my classes, gradebook, content. Basically you really need to worry about what goes into Canvas. Unless um, somehow you don't have it integrated, you can do uh, just go to your gradebook with certain classes. And but see, I don't have anything. This is the one that we just created. So we're going to go over here to my classes.
and then um, content that's things that you've created now you have to you have to um, create the content or copy the content into your things um, I've never done it any other way I'm assuming you can't just do a search but you do have to go to my content and add the content into your things I forgot to mention that these are just folders I've created just because I'm trying to keep it a little better organized um, so what we're gonna do again we're gonna come over here to my classes and check on what we just did I created it was a DISD sandbox and I put an ed puzzle in there these are all the classes that I've created a class for once you put it as an external tool it automatically creates a class for you it's amazing alright so let's click on the DISD sandbox training all right, these are two that I did already create for myself. Here's the thing. I want to take you through a class just in case to um, to uh, see what happens when you're doing it for the very first time because it looks like I already had a class here. So hang on one sec. Okay, so here's a class that I know for sure I did not link it to Edpuzzle. So I want to show what this is. This is one that I just created. So this is problem solving. I try to go through anything, any type of trouble I might have before I publish this. So I'm going to go to add and then we're going to again add an assignment. Um, new assignment, double click uh, or assignment name. We're going to do trial, add item. All right, so we're going to go in there into that assignment edit it same thing don't forget your well we already did that now we're gonna go to directions and very quickly do the same thing 100 assignment group assignments now key here is the external tool okay so since I already have a Edpuzzle account these are some that I've already used but I'm gonna go in and find a new one and make sure that I can link it specifically with this account because remember I've already put the videos in uh, my content okay you should see this you are about to create a class that's what I wanted to show you so we're gonna to go to OK uh, we're going to click the watch button and then we're going to click the assign button so it's going to oh prevent skipping yes I always do this now this turn on CC's that's fantastic um, I didn't do this I have never done this so just for posterity's sake so we're gonna sign that and then we actually have to press select again didn't want to show you guys that now we're going to save and publish and see what that looks like beautiful love this I freaking love this so students no no students in here yet but look once you start adding those students it's gonna they're gonna start showing up here good luck you're gonna love this tool it's my go-to